everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome oh, back. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> it's, I can't get the pitch just right when I first start. <laughs> so I'm going to talk like this. I'm going to sound like Mariella Fostrop for the rest of the show. Welcome back. We have got a masterclass, a true masterclass for you, with the most fantastic corner edibles, which you have been buying in your droves. I know you took full advantage of us having that little break. We said to you, make sure you check out your baskets. And guess what, Sarah? They really did. I know they really did. So here's the thing. If you weren't watching us for the last show, guys, right? We have six... Br we have nine <laughs> brand new corner edibles, but you only have to pay for six of them. That's what was coming. I'll get the details in for you straight away. We have nine brand new designs. We have an amazing collection where you basically pay for six of them and you get the other three for free. So it's like, buy, yeah, buy nine, pay for six or whatever. So that is what we launched and we've got plenty of stock of that, guys. What we did say, which we thought would be enough for the day, was the first 200 people to order this would get a free goodie bag and your goodie bag would be worth um, £25 or $30, right? They all went, they all went in the show. Luckily for you, the show finished at... At uh, three o'clock, which was still an hour before the warehouse closed, because the warehouse closed now, and the warehouse have reluctantly, reluctantly agreed to do 100 more, not 200. I asked for another 200. I said, we sold at 200 in the first show. We've got another show. Can we have 100? They've given us 100. There's not really 100 remaining, because I think four of you have ordered it already. But you know, we've got 100. We cannot, three people have ordered already. I've just had the update. Um, we cannot do more than 100, so I'm just going to warn you now, we saw 200 sets in the earlier show when most of America was still in bed. America are now awake, we only have 100 more. After them 100 have gone, it will be a different item number, which will just, it'll be the same price, but you just won't get the free goodie bag. So you can still get it, you won't get the free goodie bag. We have plenty of the dyes, guys. They're one of our biggest launches. These are launching on HSN on Monday as well. Uh, it's one of our biggest programs for the show. You know, they launch it in, in my launch show. Um, but we wanted to do a big launch today. And like I said, over 200 of you ordered, well, 200. And then there's been an extra three of you, 203 of you have ordered. Uh, another one's just gone. So we have officially 96 free goodie bags and it's just a little goodie bag with 25 30 pounds 25 pounds 30 dollars worth but we'll send you that for free when you put your order in after those 96 have gone we will let you know that they are all sold out and then it will be slightly different item number but the same bundle 80 pounds or 99 dollars so basically it's 117 pounds usually to buy them all or just over 150 dollars and you're getting them what like a two thirds of the price. So that is the new designs. Do you want me to go through them, Becky? Or you normally like to say a few hellos, don't you? I was saving your voice, which is code word for sorry. Thank you. I you to need to save my voice. I, I, I can say a few few hellos while you get ready. Um, I've got Sarah Brown here saying hi again, friends. I'm back again, and it's now two a.m. Um, Sarah Brown, you're always watching. Doesn't matter what time of day we're on. And I'm really enjoying Becky and Sarah today. Sending love and hugs to all my favourite people at CCTV and around the world from Melbourne, Australia. Mary Beth is saying hi from Minnesota. Zoe Carver is saying evening all from West Sussex. Um, and Hilary says, hello, I'd like to see the peacock of the tree. I was at work earlier and haven't seen any of the earlier demos, but anything Sarah does will be fabulous. And then Cindy has asked, will you use any of the illusion film on any of these? Oh, do you know, that would have been a lovely idea. Yeah, didn't think of that when I was getting my prep ready. So I haven't planned to use any illusion film, but you absolutely can put the illusion film mm -hmm. behind all of these. Do you want me to show you what we did in the first show? Yes, please. And I'll explain what they are, okay? These are edible dyes. Let me get one of those dyes out. Do, do, do. I even recorded an extra little video, you know, in the break that we had, and I've just uploaded it to my Facebook page because I'm so organized. Facebook and Instagram. Just haven't quite got the TikTok down yet, so it's not on TikTok yet, but I'll work on it this weekend. Um, usually I have people to help us. They've all gone home for the day. Took us that long to edit it and get it ready. Right, so here we go. This is one of the dyes. Now, they like how create the cards, but can you see the cutting edge starts here? and finishes down here. So that goes into your card like this, cuts all of that away, but stays connected down here. So you just get that beautiful butterfly design coming in there like that. 
Now, whether you do one or I'm going to show you how to do these cards a little bit later in the show, where we have one on the front and one on the back. Doesn't that look fantastic? And we're doing that sort of card later. That is what you do with them. Now, the cards that I showed everybody in the launch, so we did a launch day show, and then I'm doing some more advanced cards in this one. So I will just show you the concept quickly for anybody who missed the last show. Okay. Then I would say you're going to have to go and watch the last one to get the basics, and then we're going to do some more advanced cards now. But what I did do is I showed everybody how to use the over-the-edge design. So we did this one here where this is on the top fold of the card instead of being on the side fold of the card like that. So it comes on the top fold of the card. I did do this, which I absolutely loved. I'm gutted we don't do vote of the show anymore because like, I felt one of my cards would have won because it would have won. There's only my cards in there. So definitely would have won, Sarah. <laughs> but um, I showed everyone and I give all the measurements for a stepper card and how to put your design onto the stepper card. I then was shown everyone how to do an easel card and I love that design. That's like the one that I've done um, on uh, Instagram and Facebook just in between the shows. So I did show everyone how to do the easel one. Uh, then I was showing everyone how we did the lovely tree, which was just a nice, simple cut mm. in. But I showed everyone how to do that cloud technique as well. And then we did actually, someone asked, oh, could you make a gatefold card? So totally unplanned, unprepped. I just pulled up a couple of bits of card and showed everybody how to get the perfect Look at that perfect yeah. straight over gatefold on the top and bottom. So we didn't get a chance to decorate it, but I did show everyone how to do that. Now, what I'm going to do in this show is I'm going to do a shaker card. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to put them onto a box. I'm going to do one of those double cards where we cut on the front and back. What else have I got planned? Uh, I've got a regular tent fold one. I can do another easel card. So I've got, I've got loads planned. But what I'm going to do before I do that is I'm going to show you all of the designs so that you can see exactly what they are. So we saw the butterfly one and you saw that gorgeous, lovely butterfly design that we had on that one there. This is the bouquet of flowers, right? So that is your bouquet of flowers coming in there. That would be beautiful, the paper piece back here. I could just imagine yeah. paper piece in that lovely rose there. The heart is the one that I'm going to be using to do the shaker card. Mm -hmm. So there are the hearts. And I'm, you know, I, I took my inspiration from this card, if I'm being totally honest. Uh, now we have the peonies, which kind of ramble up the side of the card. That is beautiful for boxes. I mean, you can use any of these for any of the projects I'm showing you, but that's it there, paper pieced onto the front of a box. Gorgeous. Is that or is that not stunning? Yeah, lovely, Love really that one. pretty. So that's that one there. Uh, oh, then this is just your, that's, that is the rambling roses. And this is the one where it's just been done on the top left and the bottom right to make like a nice base for your card. The daisies was incredibly popular when mm -hmm. I did it earlier for everyone. And I was showing everyone how to do this like hint of color around the inside. But this one's gonna step further because it's also got that lovely, um, oh, the, what do we call it? The glitter card oh, paper piece in the middle. Now we do love the peacock because the peacock mm -hmm. is the one that I did do to show everybody how to do the easel card. So that one there is your peacock design. Fabulous. Uh, then you've got the lady, which is the one that I, I just absolutely loved in the stepper card. There she is. She's fabulous on a stepper. She'd work beautifully well on an easel card as well. That's the easel card that I did that I'm going to be showing you again. And then last, which was one of the favorites was the tree. And actually we did a poll in the last show asking everybody what their favorites were. And I would keen to know again, you've just seen all nine of them. Let me know which ones your favourites are, because I'll try and focus the demos on them. But I am trying to get round and do a demo on every one of them. All right? Great. There's all the designs. I will let Becky show you, because we also have, if you go for, if you get it while well, we haven't sold out of the free goodie bags, that we technically call that the showstopper. Now, it's different to usual, guys, because usually we say the showstopper has a little bit something extra in. Yes, it's got something extra in, but we're not charging any extra. So this today, the showstopper is going to be the same price as what just the bundle of launch things is. The only difference is the showstopper gets you the extra freebie goodie bag. But if you have the showstopper, it opens up the bonus buy. I'll let Becky show you what is in the bonus buy because you want to be getting that at half price and I'll get ready to show you the first demo. Fantastic. I will show you what's in the bonus buy now and I'll show you everything that's inside it. I was only showing you little bits and pieces. Um, it, there is a lot in him. Um, so first thing is um, our lilac pool um, gilding flakes. Absolutely beautiful colour that you've got here. Then we have got our twirling duck die. Now these have all been picked in order for you to be able to use them all together with these corner edgeable dies. The next one is your Flora Elegance um, die and stamp kit. 
I love this font. I always think it looks really lovely and I'm very keen to start using more dyes for my sentiments rather than stamps. Um, the next one is your best wishes sent to you card and um, die set. Um, so you cut into your um, card for that just for you, but you're also going to get some of those stamps as well. This next one is if flowers were friends, I'd pick you. I'm um, creating a really beautiful, very intricate die that you've got here. Again, that will work really well with those um, corner edibles. We've then got one of these half and half dies. So you've got an embossing folder and you've also I've got a die. This is an art deco one. You can put them together to make a whole card or you can use them as two separate pieces. Um, we've then got um, one of our fabulous fuchsias and um, little dies with all these sort of scrolls in it, which would work really, really well. You could cut into those and just use small pieces of them. We've got some of our wild at, wild at heart, um, wild at heart, dies, and um, not dies, uh, gems. They're black, pink, and also the clear. And then we've got a couple of little tiny dies, and this one is your little fairy. And then we've got a special friend, which is upside down. And then finally, we have some stencils, just to make it really difficult choosing big and small for Sam to really scroll and uh, zoom in. You've got three sets of stencils there. Sorry, I'm gonna have to cough. <coughs> <coughs> Bless you. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> She's dying over there, guys. Someone get her a drink. Do you want me cold tea that you made us earlier that I forgot you'd made us? Did you know she <laughs> I totally forgot about it until I was sitting in my office an hour later. Oh, have, drink, a cold, drink some cold tea. have a cold tea, lovely. It'll sort you right out. Is that better? Yes, yeah, better. Right. There you go. If in doubt, cold tea. Always make an extra cup of tea. So that is your bonus bag that you'll be able, if you want to buy the whole of the showstopper here, you want to pop this into your basket, you will get that half price. And of course, if you're going to be quick and you're going to, oh, it's like, really you're going to be quick, there's only 90, 90 chances left 90? for you to get hold of Whoa, what, the goodie uh, bag. And I'm well. not showing you what's in the goodie bag because we're going to keep it a surprise because life needs more surprises as far as I'm concerned. But only does. 90 left. <laughs> I will give you the really honest truth, right? Categorically, there is no more after the 90. They've told us. I, I asked for 200 more and I was told we can't do 200 before we close up. We can do 100 so that the team in over the weekend can still get them packed, but we can't do it. So after them 90 have gone, it'll be exactly the same price. You just won't get the goodie bags. If you are watching this show back on repeat, I'm really sorry. It's not going to be exactly the same item number. It's probably going to be kit dash two at the end or something. It's going to be slightly different, uh, but you will. Get, it's the same price. You just don't get the free £25, uh, $30 goodie bag in there as well. Right, are you ready for me to start and show you how these work? I think so, Right, yeah. so I'm going to start off just by showing you that butterfly one again because it's nice and easy to show you how you get started. This is, if I was just getting these today for the first time, this is where I'd be starting to make a card, okay? So these work brilliantly on your 4x6 or your A6 cards, we call them here in the UK, A2 cards, they call them in the US, right? So what you're going to do is when you look at this, can you see, there's that starter cutting line there is the end cutting line and yep. all we do is we position it over the edge like this you're going to use your tip and a top tip that i was giving everybody in the last show is we want to make sure this cuts off the top this cuts off the bottom but then what you're going to do is you're going to hold this in place i like to anchor it in two places don't stick the tape down here because that is where we're going to stay connected into the card you're going to open this up so that we're just sticking on the bit that's going to cut away okay so we're going to stick that down there i'm going to put it in my base cutting plate i'm going to go clear magnetic top plate and i've just realized i've got a couple of little bits of cardstock on there that we don't need pop all those on and we're going straight through the machine they're like a one cut wonder these they are that super simple to do one pass through you straight through the machine super simple and ready to go right so what i was saying though is one pass through gives you the cut. Yep. If you want the detail, what I would recommend is getting your embossing mat out and then popping the embossing mat on here as well so that we now, it's as though you're cutting into the embossing mat, leave this one out so you put your clear and your top plate, but you're gonna leave that embossing mat out and it will cut, well, it's not gonna cut, the first pass through cuts, the next one embosses, so it pushes all that lovely embossing design with the mat into all the big open spaces. And these have been illustrated 
with the idea of doing that embossing, right? So it's doing all that lovely embossing. I'm going to give it a bit of a tap on the back so that I don't need to pop all the bits out. Just a bit of a tap. I do, I do enjoy that, right? And then all we do is this bit down here, we're just going to connect that off. I'm going to join up this last one, right? Now, what I like to do, and this is a personal preference thing, yeah. is I do like to take a little bit of ink, and I'm just going to go a nice little bit of uh, ocean blue or something, just give it a little bit of colour round the edge, and it just makes it stand out. Look at that, I've missed a couple of little bits that we need to pop out. Just these couple of little bits here, just down here like this, and it, oh, it just makes it stand off the page a little bit more. And then to actually put the whole card together, watch it is as simple as a little bit of tape we're going to go stick this one onto the back panel we're going to stick this one onto the front panel and i've just got a nice little sentiment where have you gone a little sentiment butterfly wishes and a couple of nice little uh, there you go a uh, little bit of tape as easy as this now granted I'm going speedy Gonzales here because technically this isn't me demo. This is just the warm up act. So it's just to show you how quick and easy it can be to make a really beautiful card that's so detailed. That's what these dies are for. Now this is the masterclass guys. So I'm not going to be doing simple cards. I'm going to be starting to do more elaborate ones, but just giving you a nice starting point to make beautiful cards like that. You can then build on that technique and go into more elaborate ones. So. What do you fancy next? Should we do, should we do the shaker card? Oh yeah. Nicholas suggesting in my ear. Shaker, shaker. Right, I'll get ready for the shaker, shaker. Fantastic. I didn't even ask you how many are left now, seeing as we were 90 a few minutes ago. <laughs> Quite, not many left, I imagine. I'm going to show you a few samples that I've got here. Um, this one is using that butterfly design um, and a little bit of acetate. And actually, we've we cut, we cut extra of the butterflies to give them a 3D kind of um, design. Um, here is a little box using that daisy. Um, as always, the design team really do go to town and we always have some fantastic um, makes. These are absolutely beautiful and are bound to inspire you. This one's been paper pieced inside. Uh, we've got this one here. Um, creating really pretty, almost like a framework around the edge of that card. Um, this one with a peacock, a little box. We've got a drop shadow there using some of that lovely sort of um, purple mirrored card. Um, this one here using the tree uh, that we saw earlier. Um, that actually looks very Art Deco, that tree, where you've got the black there and the gold. Um, it looks very much like something you'd expect Hercule Poirot to be looking at. And then this one here, a uh, beautiful card, again, using a little bit of acetate and that tree. Um, just to show you all those different types of cards, I've got a few more here. This one, some paper piecing with the peacock. They are really, really beautiful set of cards um, that we've got here. Fantastic for your inspiration, but I mean, let's be honest, there's so many things you can do with these. Because as Sarah said, every time um, you can use all of these in, all in different ways um, to create different cards and different decorations. I'm going to say a few hellos. Um, I've got Jean F saying, good morning from Overcast Day in San Diego. Just back from an eye appointment. It's only 9, 10 a.m. Um, Mary says, I, these are so awesome. I have to have them. I'll rewatch the shows and HSN on Monday. I love, love, love them. Um, Lynn says, I love the daisy. I can't wait for it to arrive. Um, Barbara says, oh, I love that tree. Um, Mitra Steo is here saying, good evening, everyone, from a sleepy me. Um, Jessica is here saying um, hello from a windy south Illinois. Um, Lynn Harvey says hello, Sarah, Becky, an amazing CTV team, a wonderful social media superstar and everyone. Carolyn's here from Florida, looking forward to more demos with this marvellous die set. If you didn't manage to see the earlier show, please do go back because we've got some other fantastic demos that Sarah's done. Um, Michael is saying he's celebrating his 17th, 70th, 70th birthday. Happy birthday. Um, oh, wow. Happy birthday. That's and actually, that was one of the questions I was going to ask, because obviously Sarah's told us it's her birthday coming up. It's an important birthday. So the question I wanted to ask you was, what is the best birthday present you've ever received? That's what I want to ask. Um, and Hilary says, I love the tree, and I've cherry-picked a few. I think a lot of people are choosing one or two or thinking, actually, one or two I really, really love. But it, with that price, being able to get all of those nine different designs um, for that price, platinum price is £64, or $79.20. And if you're quick, 
you're going to be able to get the goodie bag as well. Um, why wouldn't you get all of them? Even if there's one or two that you might not use, you can always give those to your friends. Oh, stock update, 87 remaining. Not surprised. Do remember, as Sarah mentioned earlier on, if you pop it in your basket and you don't check out, it's not yours. So do remember to check out. Don't leave it too late. Don't miss out. Right, we're going to get started with a few more demos. I am indeed. Yep. I'm ready to go on the shaker card one. And um, actually, it's a good point. As long as you like more than half of them, and let's face it, you probably like all of them, don't you? Yeah. As long as you love more than half of yep. them, you're way better off going for this. Way better off, right? Now, I'm going to do a shaker card. And so here's what you want to do. You want to get your base card, and I've got a little bit bigger. It's not quite a five by seven, this. Five by six and a half, right? So I've gone a little bit bigger because if you look at the size of my die, which I've just got out ready, what I wanted to do is get a die. I wanted to, there you go, make this a little bit bigger than the card. Okay. And then I've got my mats and layers ready, Becky. So I've gone with like a nice bold pink in the background. Lovely. And then I've done a layer of the white in front of it. So that's okay. what we're going to go with. And you need two of the white ones. So that's going to be our background mat and layer. So I'm actually might as well get that matted and layered already. So all you do is you take this around here like this. That's going to go onto the uh, pink. Now, if you're not as confident as I am at getting your mats and layers in exactly the right spot first time, what I would say is uh, use your all-purpose glue. So then you've got your, you know, the collal one. Then you've got yeah. that little bit of manoeuvrability time. I'm pretty confident, so I'm straight in there with the tape pen, right? So we're going to take this and we're going to make this our um, die cut piece. Okay. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop this on first onto those edges. So I'm coming straight around like that. And then I'm going to hold it in place with a little bit of tape. Now what I'm realising, I'm just going to come right down here, yep. So I'm just there like that, and I'm going to hold that in place. Tape here. Remember, tape on the bits that you are cutting away. Okay? Okay. So we're going to go into here, and I know you're thinking, well, how's this making a shaker card? But trust the process. You will see in just a second. So we're going clear, magnetic, uh, all those little bits of card, guys, you want to get them all off, because otherwise what they'll do is they'll mark your card stock, and you don't want that. Uh, I know I realised a couple of my cards in the last demos because I was rushing so much I ended up marking all of the card stock. So you definitely don't want to do that if you can get away with it. So one pass through is going to give you the cut. Mm -hmm. If you want that lovely embossed detail, at this stage you're going to lift the back off and emboss it. But to be honest, I think for a card like this, it doesn't really matter if it's not embossed. Right? And then all you're going to do is you're going to get your cutting knife. Oh, Craigie, where did I put you with this? You're going to get your uh, metal edge ruler, which I don't know where ours is, so I'm going to free ball it. Is that a word? No, just made no, it up. But I think it's, I, we all know what you mean. You, you all knew what I meant, yeah. that's all that matters. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I'm just leaving enough of a line around the outside to smooth all of this off so that when I take this out, that is there now revealing my little hearts. Okay, so that's how you're going to do that one. Then what you want to do is we're going to add a little bit of colour. So let's have a look. Where did I put my... Here's one of my, my uh, scrap pieces we were working on earlier. I'm just going to protect that back bit there like that. And then just use a little bit of ink. I'm going to use the fuchsia here. And I'm just going to use the fuchsia to just give me a little bit of colour all around the edge there. And I had a bit of purple on there, so it's kind of giving me a nice purpley pink which I have to say, I do quite like. Mm -hmm. It's a new shade there. And then also, you see, you, look at the lovely stencils as yeah. well, aren't they? Yeah, so that's just using a nice little stencil bit. And actually, look, all of these, really handy. So you could always go and just use a bit of uh, bit of ink on these as well, if you wanted to uh, to then use these in some of your project in your project to decorate it. You could pop just a little bit of colour around the outside. And I can use these as little um, little leftover die cut pieces. In fact, I quite like that idea. That was just, I just saw them on there and thought, oh, I'll use you, them. You don't want to waste those bits Don't want to waste them. So there we go. Use like a couple that. of nice little hearts, right. And you obviously use as many as you want. Now, here's how you're going to make this into a shaker card. First of all, we need to stick acetate all over the back of there. So when you're doing that, you want your dotty tape pen 
and I want you to be really careful because this is obviously quite fragile around the edge here. So I'm just coming and being nice and fragile all around the edge. And then once we've got that dotty tape all over there, you then want your straight tape pen so that we can do a really good stick all the way down here. So there we go. I'm going to stick you. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, Sarah. Uh, oh, it's so sticky. Never mind. Um, I was going to say we want a bit of tape around here as well. But to be honest, it's that stuck so well I didn't want to lift it up. No. So we've covered all of that in with the acetate. Yep. What you can do to make sure that sticks down, because this is where we're going to use our foam on a roll. Do you sing when I say that? Or is it just... Well, um, I, I normally do, but then people shout at me. And actually, <laughs> I, I don't think I can really sing today. That's a good point, it'd actually. It'd be a bit of a cro croaky, croaky foam on a roll. Let's save the voice. Let's yeah. save the voice. Right, let's have a little look at this. I'm just going round the heart on the end there. And then I'm going to stick this down. So I'm using the tape, really, to stick that into place. Look, can you see I've gone right to the end there. And then I'm going to butt this up against here. So I'm going to hold that little bit of acetate in place with the sticky. Okay. I'm uh, going to come along there like that. Just make sure we come around there like this. And then I'm going to stick that along. And then I want to give you a great tip, right? Right. If you don't want to waste too much of your shaker pieces, block off this area, right? So watch out and go into there with that. And I can just block off all of the area that we don't need. So we're only actually putting shaker yep. in the bits that we need. It's worth okay. it. It's worth using a little bit of extra shaker foam to not waste all of the extra shaker pieces. And then watch, because I just went round there like that and also around these hearts because I didn't want to be able to see the hearts the shake of foam is brilliant because it's got that maneuverability and I'm just going to pop these in here just so that I get like a nice uh, nice lifted up stuck bit so now when I lift all this up at the back it should just give me a really nice little bit of shaker there it is working a treat and it raises all that area up, but it's only the area that we want shaker in. That makes sense, because inevitably they're all going to fall down the bit where you can't see them, aren't they? Well, of course they are, that? yeah. But you know, I was probably crafting goodness knows how many years before I worked that out. <laughs> I, I, I kid you not, I used to put loads and loads of shaker in and just used to waste loads of it. Whereas this way you don't waste any, all right? So, here we go. Now, I love these. I would do, because they're mine, but... Um, uh, these are, I love these shaker pieces. So watch this. I'm going to pop that on there. And we're going to go with shakers in the top right. So I'm just going to get plenty of them in. There we go. Oh, nice, look at that. Nice, lovely, big bits of shakers. Because I like the uh, kind of iridescent feel yeah. of it. All right? And I always put loads on and like um, bunch it all up. And then you're going to give it a nice shake to stick down. So watch this. That's going to go on there over top of your other white piece so it's like matted and layered and then that get the shaker moving there we go and look see that's oh, look full that. of shaker bits now lovely this is I can see a little bits eking out somewhere so we're just going to make sure that's really well stuck down yep that's really well stuck down all the way around job is a good one as they say lovely and then also just to kind of finish off down here I'm, i've got myself some lovely big foam pads i've got some in the break and I've got a couple of the little mini foam pads. So I've got a nice uh, with love on this special day sentiment. And then I'm just going to add a couple of me little, uh, what's the word? Little love hearts that we shaded up as well. The, the bits that came out. They're just the bits that came out of the die. Yeah. So oh. watch, I'm going to pop this. I like that when you're using every little piece. Of we don't the, like to um, waste. You know what no. it's like. We don't like to waste. Of course not. So. Sense. 3D central over here. I love <laughs> these large foam pads. I just think they look how easy and speedy they are to use. Right, so here we go. I'd love on this special day. And then a couple of these lovely little hearts that I had left over. And I can, oh, actually, I might be able to get a big one on the back of here. Uh, yep, I'll cut some of them big ones in half and they'll be a lovely size for me on the back of there. Right. Oh, it's beautiful. Love that. One two and then look at a little tiny weeny one down here there we go three 
So it just shows you, even shaker cards, so even though we've got master classy, and I said this was, uh, you know, this was slightly more advanced cards, just shows you it doesn't need to be too complicated. That, you know, that's still being quite simple to make. Mm. It's just getting all those little hints and tips in, isn't it? There you go. Gorgeous. How easy was that one? Really easy. I'm loving these cards today. I have to say, I'm really enjoying myself. I think you can tell, can't you? Yeah, they look absolutely lovely. And I like the fact that you've used all the, utilised so much of um, what you're going to be getting in there. And even if you're a new crafter, you don't have so many bits and pieces to work with. That makes a fantastic card just like that without using any kind of um, paper, which makes it really useful. I love that. Um, we've got a few people messaging in. Um, Jean says, thank you for showing us a, a, an easy card, the little butterfly one that you showed at the, at the outset. just shows how uh, universal um, you can use these, whether you are a brand new crafter or whether you are a very experienced crafter. Um, everyone's liking the samples as well. The samples we've got are lovely. And Jennifer says, whoopsie, accidentally had some things fall in my cart and then I slipped on the computer mouse and ordered the showstopper, the bonus buy and some goodies from the spring sale. Yeah, the spring sale, I didn't, I haven't mentioned at the outset. Do make sure you take advantage of having a look at the spring sale. There are different things every day and it runs up until the 14th of April. We are going to give you the opportunity to check out because if you're going to be buying this, you want to make sure you get your hands on the free gift. Um, not many left now so check out your baskets and we will see you back in a couple of moments my day-to-day -day life is uh, pretty busy and wet literally i get in the door check my pole uh, I then check what I've got to demo. I then get everything ready. Um, and it's just busy, busy, busy from there. I, um, I have a meeting with the producer, the director. We get then sorted for the shows, uh, talk to the presenter. Um, and it's what side I'm on. I mean, sometimes I'm doing the presenting side, sometimes I'm doing the demonstration side. And I love both. It's actually who I get to work with. That's, yeah, I can't say no more than that other than anybody that works here. Uh, we are a big family. We're so super friendly. Um, I love Ben. I love it when we work, work together. And I don't mean that I don't love anyone else. It's the fact that Ben is the presenter and then I'm straight in and we just have this great rapport. Uh, same with Craig, same with Deb, same with the whole team. So yeah, the best part of the day is just getting to work with the best people in the industry. Oh, a night out. Uh, in the morning. Oh, none. I only drink water. Oh, well, I'm cutting out sugar, so it's got to be uh, savoury. <gasps> Masterclass. Oh, I can't leave the house without my lipstick. Oh, I love a baked potato. I relax, so I literally drive home normally and then I relax. I like to get up, chill, relax, get a cup of tea, then get myself sorted. And if I'm presenter, I'll write all my notes. If I'm the demonstrator, I'll get my prep out, have another look at it, make sure that everything is the way it needs to be for the show, do the show. Then what I'll do is I'll grab something to eat, then have another look at the sheets again, making sure the next show's all good to go. Then we do that show tidy. I always like to make sure that the area is nice and tidy, either for myself the next day or whoever's in. Jump in the car, head home, I will quickly unpack what I need to unpack and then I get on that sofa as quick as I can. As soon as we go live, I love that within our live shows, I always get... As soon as we get that countdown in our ear that we're just going live, butterflies kick in and within about 10, 15 seconds, I'm going. Butterflies have gone and we just enjoy the show. Early riser. Oh, shower in the morning. Tea. Oh, savoury breakfast. 
Masterclass. My mobile phone. Oh, anything with chicken. Currently, it is the weekend, blind and light, and it has been for about a couple of years, and I still love it. Uh, apart from jumping in the car, chilling on the sofa, watching TV. Hello everybody, welcome back. I do hope you took full advantage of that break to grab yourself a cup of tea, check out your baskets and get ready to watch some more demos because we do have more demos. Um, I've got lots of people uh, messaging saying how much they loved what you've just made Deb, um, uh, here. So I've got messages from Stephanie, Christine Mahoney, um, Jennifer says, are there lovely pretty shaker bits? Um, it really does look lovely with that shaker style card and of course you can do that with all of those dies. Um, Brenda Munro asks, what size are the dies? Is that um, right? They're designed to work on a four by six card. Yep. So if you imagine that card that I just did, so when you take the edge bit of the die, it's easier if I just take one out of its packaging. And if I just show you one here, right, can you see? So if I just show you there, so they're four inches wide at the widest point and six inches tall. So there's an A6 card, which is roughly the same size as your A2. You can see they take a nice quarter of that card nicely. Hopefully that explains it. That's brilliant. Thank you very much for that. Um, and Barbara asks, is the foam on the roll, which I'm not going to sing, because I've got bad voice, um, is it different? I don't remember it being that wide or flexible. Uh, oh, we just we have different types of foam on a roll. There's different ones on the website. So, um, yeah, this is just the latest delivery that's just come in. Fantastic. So, yeah. um, lots of people are saying they always hear the song. They probably, I, I hear the song in my head um, and Pat says I love the tip about blocking off an area on your shaker card yeah that is really useful and Amali says I love this collection each one is perfect for the upcoming Mother's Day here in the US I, I, I can see these being used for any kind of occasion I mean even you know the, the cards that we sometimes have to make um, when we have to make a sympathy card they, these will work really well with that and I always find that is quite a challenge for me finding something that's going to work and I, I like the fact that we'll be able to use these throughout the whole of the year for all sorts of different occasions this really does represent a fantastic deal because as Sarah said whilst you're getting nine you're only really paying for six um, 80 pounds or 99 dollars platinum price is 64 pounds or 79 dollars 20 and if you're quick you will get the goodie bag I, I keep pushing it because i don't like people missing out i think there's the worst thing when you go and buy something and you're like oh i just miss out on it um we've already sold out once already we've got some more items in the goodie bag i'm not going to show you because i think it'll be a nice surprise but you're going to be getting a 25 pounds or 30 dollars worth of goodies for nothing provided you are one of the lucky few that checks out before we lose out all of the stock um, right, uh, are you ready for another demo, Sorry, sorry. Right? I am indeed. Should we go right? So I did say, I like this card. Me too. So I've taken inspiration from this card, which is like where you've got the design on the front and the back, but I haven't used that lovely peony die yet, and I love peonies. Mm -hmm. They're one of my favourite flowers. Peonies, I always said peonies and lilies. I am a fan of the hydrangea at the moment. Oh, me too. A lot of the bouquets, I get, I always, uh, if I order myself a bouquet, I order it with a hydrangea in, which to be fair, I don't order myself bouquets very often, but my PA has learned that I like a bouquet with a hydrangea <laughs> in. So whenever it's Mother's Day or my birthday or Valentine's Day, I now get a bouquet with a hydrangea in. <laughs> Couldn't work out better. Right, let's have a little look. I'm starting with A4 or your nine by 12 will do the same. I'm gonna cut it down to six inches wide. Mm -hmm. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the score line in at seven inches. So instead of scoring it in half, oh, I was going to go at seven and a half inches, but never mind, seven inches will do, right? So, you know, I did want seven and a half. Well, watch here, right? There's seven inches. There's seven and a half, right? It's just half an inch wider. Yeah. Exactly the same thing, though. Um, but yes, I, I, that's what I meant to do. I meant to do A4, square it off to six, and then you put a score line at seven and a half inches, mm -hmm. right? And that is going to give you a nice wide base back, wide base front. Now, when you come in with the peony, what you want to do is we're going to cut them one at a time. Someone asked earlier about cutting two. Patience is a virtue. It's not what I possess, but it's worth it <laughs> persevering with when you're on the card making, right? Cutting line starts here, runs all the way to here. So I'm going to do the back of the card first. So open up your card 
position your die where you want it to appear. All right, so I'm going to pop that in there and then I'm just going to hold it in place with a couple of little bits of the tape. Now, I did give this tip earlier on today, but for anyone who wasn't watching, in fact, let me know in the comments mm -hmm. if this is the first show you're watching today or if you've been watching the earlier show as well, uh, so that I know how many people I'm having, because if everybody says I was watching the earlier one, I don't need to give you the same tips again. But can you see what I'm doing is I'm sticking down the bit that's going to get cut away. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this onto here and I've got my base cutting plate. And then we're going with the clear, the magnetic. We're going to take the top plate as well. And then that is going to go through the machine. All right. So that's going to give me the cut on the background piece. Yep. And then we're going to fold the card over and cut the front. Because actually, what you'll probably not realise is one of them cuts onto the front of the card and one of them cuts onto the reverse of the card. Oh, okay. But you don't, a lot of people don't realise that until they're making it right. So let's have a little look. I'll just give the... Oh, just give it a little bit of a tab. There you come, all the way through. Cut you away, got most of it out. So that is cut into the back. And then I cut the, fold the front over. Just take out my little bit of tape there. And then this one is cutting onto the front here. So if I take that down again, I'm just positioning that all in place. So you see that essentially is cutting the underneath. Can you see what I mean? Uh, that one yes. cut on the top, yep. that one's cutting on the opposite side, which is why you couldn't, even if you wanted to, cut them both at once. Mm -hmm. So one pass through for the reverse, one pass through for the top, and then I'm going to do a little bit of colouring again. Okay. So get ready. I hope you've answered lots of questions that we were asking you about. Yep. What, uh, what everybody, was it, was it favourite birthday present? I've got some. Um, I'd like to hear some more, so I can always find out in the gallery what their favourite birthday present was. Oh. What, what's been your favourite birthday present, Sarah, that you've got so far? What my favourite birthday present, I'll tell you what my favourite present was. Yeah. I got for Christmas one year, I got an engagement ring in my Christmas stocking. Oh. Yeah. Worked out well. Yeah, so, absolutely. Um, if I haven't told you the tale before, God love him. He, um, so I'll have been, what, 20, 21 at the time, I think? Yeah. And uh, I felt like I'd been, we'd been together since I was 15. Yeah. And so I felt like I'd been waiting an eternity for him to propose. <laughs> and uh, I think he basically waited till I, it was the, it was the year I turned 21. Because everybody said he would do it on my birthday. Yeah. And then when we went for a big holiday, everyone was like, oh, he'll totally propose when you're on holiday. Never did, right? Aww. And I could have killed him. And I just thought, he just obviously doesn't want to marry us. That's going to be it. I'm just, I'm, I'm doomed to... Never get married. I was desperate to get married. So um, anyway, he, he waited till I'd given up hope, I think. And then Christmas morning, I had this little Christmas stocking. And it was uh, all the way... I was like opening all the presents and there was clearly an Avon lady at his work and he bought all these, bless him, like lotions and potions. And, yep. Oh, he was so cute. And then <laughs> um, I got right to the bottom and there's this little, little box. Tiny, weeny little box. So of course I started crying. And then, I, and then I thought, oh my God, if this is a pair of earrings, I'm going to look like <laughs> such a tit. So, uh, and thankfully it wasn't a pair of earrings, but um, yes, I was a little bit worried that it was going to be. So, and it was my engagement ring. Oh, that's yeah. lovely. So that was, that was my favourite present. Right, do you want me just to quickly tell you what I'm going to do here? Yep. I'm going to colour my peony in purple. So I'm starting with the lightest colour. I'm using the uh, DPs, the dusky purples. And so I'm going all the way around the outside. And they're just nice to do, you, see, just, you just want a little bit of a hint of colour. So you just want to go around the outside, but just a tiny weeny little bit, because you're just kind of giving that flower the little bit of a hint of colour. And be careful not to colour the leaves, So because we're going to colour them in a different shade. Okay. So you're going to just take that little bit of a hint of purple, get your lighter shade in first, so that you can see what you're colouring. Then once you've got the lighter shade, you can go around the outside with the darker shade and then we're going to blend it through from the dark through the medium okay. through the light so can you see there's me dark one and then I'm going to go dark into the medium so the medium is going to come across the middle there watching the uh, the leaves and mm -hmm. then I'm going to come from the medium into the light and we're going to give it another shade. So I'm going to do Gorgeous. a couple of those. Yep. And I'm also going to colour it. There you go. So now when we move that out of the way, that's what we're looking at. Nice. Yep. Yep. I'm going to do the nice. same with these other ones. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to colour a little bit of the leaves. Okay. Um, 
we have, Stephanie said, um, my best birthday gift was the year I turned 60. We were able to get my children and grandchildren together for a group photo and it's so difficult because people live all over. Oh, I think that's really nice. Sometimes it's not necessarily a, a tangible gift. It's like an experience, isn't it? The things that you remember so much. Um, so do message in if you can let us know what your favourite um, birthday surprise was. Um, Karen says, uh, my favourite birthday was two years ago for my 60th and my children will rise, uh, organise a surprise meal with all my family. I felt so loved. Uh, oh. That's really nice. Amber says she got a Pandora bracelet from her mother and that's really nice too. Um, my, um, I, for Mother's Day, I said to my children, I don't want chocolate. Um, I don't want flowers. I'd like a Lego set. <gasps> and... Um, my daughter went, it's too late, we've already bought your present. And I was like, oh, okay. Anyway, I didn't see them for a few days and Mother's Day came round and went and I didn't get anything because my present hadn't arrived. And then I got this big box and it was a Lego set. And I went, oh, is that because I mentioned it? She went, no, we'd already got it for you. Oh. And I thought, gosh, my children really know me. <laughs> Exactly. Which Lego before. set was it? It was the one with the orchids. I was just, I've done that yeah. one. I really like I was going to say, was it one of the flowers? Because really I just good. think. I've really struggled with doing the earth. Have you? Putting the little earth bit in there, I lost interest. You know, you know what I'm like, I lose interest part of the way through anything anyway. And I just said to my son, I can't do that bit, just finish that bit off. But um, I was looking at that Lego um, thing that you do, where you, oh, you basically brilliant. sort of rent a Lego set, don't you? Yes. Which so I think is a really great idea because I love Lego, but I don't really know what I'd do with it after I put it together. You put it together, yep, that's me exactly. Yep. So I do, a, I subscribe to a company called Brick Borrow. Now they're only in the UK, mm -hmm. but you borrow the Lego. And then after you've done it, you just send it back again. So it, the only thing is you have to take it apart. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not exactly that. It, it's almost no. as therapeutic as putting it together. Absolutely. So, um, but yeah, I do love me Lego. Yeah. And I, the kids love the Lego. So, yeah. So I, I think it's lovely. And I, my daughter, my daughter, my niece buys me a Lego set just a small one but lots of them have got like a Chinese theme so I've got like a uh, year of the rabbit uh, we had like a Chinese pagoda Chinese I was going to say have you done the Japanese garden no I haven't got that oh, one yet because it's quite lovely. expensive and that, that's the thing you know they're quite pricey the Lego sets I've always wanted to do the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars oh. but that's about a thousand pounds to buy but that actual place where you can rent it you can get it wow. um, so that's what I'm going to have a go at doing because it's very therapeutic putting it together um, so I do enjoy that. Um, now, you were asking, um, has anyone uh, watched the earlier show? Um, Karen says, I haven't watched the earlier shows as I took my aunt out shopping and for lunch for her birthday. Um, but you can always watch back, which is a great thing about Crafters TV, where anytime it's convenient to you, you can watch back any of the shows. Pat said, I watched the earlier show and I've saved it and I will be saving this one as well. Of course, we're going to be doing different things in each show, so you might as well save them all. Um, Cindy says, I watched this morning, but it's good for you to repeat the tips, Sarah. That way it's reinforced into our heads. Okay. Which is absolutely true. I'll make sure I keep repeating yeah, them, keep I promise. Doing it. And Julie Goss says, best ever early birthday present was a Gemini. Yay! <laughs> I was wondering um, if anyone was going to say that. Yeah, absolutely. Hilary says, my best present was my 25th, for my 25th, my lovely man and I moved into our first flat together. Oh, that's lovely. That is a really nice thing. There's something about when you get your first home, isn't it? Or your first sort of oh, little space yes. of your own. It's quite exciting. There was a, um, an advert in a long time ago, probably 20 or 30 years ago in the UK, and the girl wakes up in the morning and she runs around the house saying, it's ours, it's ours, because it's the first morning they've woken up in their flat. Oh. And I was saying, uh, it is, it's full of glee when you move into your first place. Oh, lovely. That looks great. Isn't it looking good? Yeah. And you just need to do it again with the other one. Now, in true Sarah style, ba da ba <laughs> Here's what I prepared earlier, because as much as I'd love to sit all day, um, I can't, I can't do all of them. But because we've only got ten minutes till the uh, the first half of the show's up. But uh, you saw me obviously do one of them. So I just, and did you see the little tip I was doing when I was going through these edge pieces? Right, I was just coming in with my design and just drawing round the edge. Yeah. And by doing that, it just gives you the little bit of a hint of colour around the edge panel. Yeah. That worked an absolute treat when I was just going around some of these little bits. So, yeah, so there we go. So all I've done is got a little bit now of matting and layering, and I'm just going to mat and layer up and finish that card off beautifully. Nice. Right, we have a stock update. We have now, this is the showstopper with the new goodie bag. 
only 75 remaining. So if you want to get hold of the showstopper and you want something for free, quickly check out is all I'm going to say. We sold out with the original um, goodie bag. Now, I'm not going to tell you what's in it, but it's £25 or $30 equivalent inside this bag. Um, we like to give you something for nothing. Everyone likes a, a free freebie, so why not take advantage? If you're going to be buying it, be one of the next 75 and you will get a little goodie bag as well. It's the same price. We're just giving you a couple of things for free. Yeah, and after them 75, we uh, I, and I have checked and I did ask the question because I know there'll be a lot of people watch this show back on repeat tonight. Uh, so if you're not watching us live at the moment, I can tell you we will have sold out of that. And so yours, it'll just be a slightly different item number. And with your item number, you just won't get the goodie bag. You still get all the dies for the price of just, so basically you get six dies for the price of just, um, sorry, you get nine dies for the price of six. I don't know why I'm struggling with that today, Becky. Uh, nine dies for the price of six. Because you so, can't believe it. We're giving, we, we're giving so many things for free. Well, there you go. So you see, <laughs> it's nice because you do still get that deal. You just, um, you, it's just, it's nice to get the extra. Yeah. I would talk, for the sake of doing it now of, versus doing it in, in an hour's time when they'll have sold out, you might as well do it now, yeah, right? absolutely. So let's have a little look. I'm just going to pop a nice little sentiment on there. Make a wish. These are so therapeutic to colour these. So I think you'll really enjoy colouring them ones. Gorgeous. They're just a bit different, aren't they? Yeah. And I like the whole see-throughness of that card. Now that, I was inspired to do that one from, I'll do it so you can see through it. I was inspired by this one. And yeah. in that one, we've done a little bit different as in we've stuck a little panel behind the card so that you can colour into the pieces in there as well. So it just gives oh, you a little right. bit of colour okay. detail in there. as an alternative way to do it. Lovely. Gorgeous. I think they look great. Really, really like those. Um, Crafting Queen says, Sarah, I missed watching earlier. Work got in the way, so all tips gratefully received. But even if I had watched earlier, I'm not adverse to getting the same tips more than once. So I think that is... Okay. The, the, on just, it. just keep repeating the tips. Um, Connie says, um, I was late to the show, um, but did purchase a showstopper whilst in the show and also ordered the goodie bag. Um, definitely, it was worth popping the goodie bag. Um, make it worth buying now so you get the goodie bag. But we do also have another goodie bag as well. Um, shall I show quickly what's in there? Yeah, because um, um, you know we want to give you we want to give you as much as possible. And this goodie bag has been put together by Sarah to create which we do filled with bits and pieces that are going to work with this showstopper. I'm going to show you one or two things. We've got some beautiful gems. These are from Wild at Heart, pink and black and also um, clear. We've got this from Fabulous Fuchsia. This is a die with those scrolls on there, so it's going to be great for decorating any of your makes. We have a couple of mini dies, so one with a fairy and one with a special friend on there. We've also got... Um, this is from Flora Elegance, so we've got a set of dies and also some stamps in there as well, as well as lots of other items inside this bag. Um, so if you wanted to get this bag, put the showstopper in your basket, and if you're quick, you'll also get the goodie bag that comes with it. But you can pop this in, and you're only going to pay half price for this. So it represents a really, really good deal for you. I was just looking to see, or oh, a few people have said what... Christmas presents or birthday presents they got. Um, Isabel Laird said, it's Isabel Laird, Craig's mum. Oh, just got the same surname. Um, she went to Florence for the weekend for her birthday. Nice, I like that. Um, Jeanette says, my husband um, bought the right and he knew it and then he made me wait and wait and wait. I think this is for the, the um, Gemini. Um, made her wait for a long time. Jeanette says, I bought myself a new home and it uh, at 25 is best gift ever well done that is a that's an amazing gift and mary pat says my best birthday gift was when my eldest daughter flew from her home in north carolina to montana without my knowledge and surprised me at a birthday dinner in my favorite italian restaurant i think overall we're saying experiences seem to be the thing that we all want our favorite christmas uh, christmas birthday presents i'd like diamonds as well as experiences i'm just putting it out there um so we're all looking at the corner edge of boards, and I do apologise for my squeaky voice, um, to show you that boards, <clears throat> you can properly see exactly what you're getting in here. Um, this first one is your entwined butterflies. This one is your flora bouquet. 
This is your lovely hearts. See, I'm not even looking at the information on the back because I know now. This is your peonies. delightful peonies. This one is your entwined rose. This is your fabulous daisies. This is your elegant peacock. I like this. I could be making it up, but actually I'm saying them right because <laughs> I've looked at them so many times now. Uh, I always think uh, peacocks are very elegant anyway, beautiful looking things. Um, then we have off to the ball, that beautiful dress. And if you didn't watch the earlier show, you will want to watch back because you will see that fantastic demo that Sara did with this one, but they've all been fantastic to be honest. And then finally, we've got into the woods with that lovely tree, which looks absolutely gorgeous. The price for all of these is £80.99. Platinum price is £64 or $79.20. Be quick and you too can get a goodie bag filled with goodies up to £25 or $30. I'm not going to show you what's in it because it's going to be a surprise. That's what I like to say. Um, well, uh, Trish says, wow, that is a beautiful card, Sarah. Jean says, lovely card. Brenda says, very sharp card. And, and Isabel says, no, I'm no relation to Craig. It's just a common name up in Scotland. Um, yeah, I, I, I didn't know because maybe it was um, who you weren't related. Uh, oh, do you get you're talking in Scotland. Can, yeah. I ask it, can I ask for some advice? Yeah. So does everybody know we went around Scotland in the camper van last year? Yeah. Absolutely loved it. So we went up to Killeen Castle at Ayr, and then we went up the side of um, that big lake. Not the one. Not the moment, that'd be the one. Up to the top, over the sky bridge into sky. Loved it. So this year, we're going to do the same again, but we thought we'd go up a little bit further yeah. to the top bit, drop back down to Ullapool, get the ferry across to Harris, do that bit, and then come back down Sky and then down oh, there. Nice. Any advice, I'm all ears, guys. Okay. Fantastic. My advice would be um, don't go camping because I don't I don't like camping. Oh, you've not I'm, lived. I'm one of the... No, I have camped. I didn't like it. My husband said, we went camping in Spain. My husband said, it's going to be really hot. Don't worry about it. It was freezing. Oh. I didn't have any proper shoes. Uh, I was really cold. And one, warm, one morning I woke up and there was a mouse looking at me on my pillow. Oh. That put me off. Yeah, I yeah, that, that would yeah, put you That's off. not very nice. But, um, yeah, it, we had fun. The good stories. Um, other birthday presents. Um, Jean says, my best birthday gift was hiking Yosemite with my son and my college friends. Um, Dawn says, one of my best presents, besides the ones I buy all the time for myself, good plan, is a prize dinner for when I turned 60, my um, first one given by my niece. And I also took myself off to New Orleans for my birthday. I was alone and having brunch, told the waitress it was my birthday, then a jazz band came over and played happy birthday to me. Oh, I like that. That is really nice. Um, and Marley says, my favourite birthday gift um, the present wasn't a gift to me, but it was giving a gift. Uh, a year ago, I gave my best friend a kidney. Um, this year, she gave me a trip to see my favourite movie as a play, Lion King, and a bag of crafty goodies, including a replacement Gemini midi that had been stolen from the hospital room when I donated her kidney. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that is a fantastic thing to give. Um, well done, you, and I do hope your friend is on the road to recovery. Um, that's always good. Um, I will show you a few samples. So keep those um, ideas about um, presents coming in because it's always nice to hear what people are doing. Um, these are fantastic samples. As always, the design team really do pull it out of the bag. This one using that beautiful pu um, pumpkin. <laughs> Peacock. Um, this one using the off to the ball. Um, this is really beautiful and I think great for people who've got um, sort of teenage daughters going to proms, weddings, um, anniversaries. That is a really pretty d design. This one here using um, some of the uh, peonies in here and then twist twisting it around the other way. So you're almost making like a framework. Um, a little bit of paper piecing in this one, which is lovely. I do love a bit of paper piecing. I find it, that's a little bit like Lego, isn't it? It's like a puzzle. Next one is this one here. We've got this one, which I think I have to say, I think is one of my favourite, using that tree um, to create that beautiful easel card. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So many that we've got here for you. 
So anyone that's joining into the show now, we're all talking about the Showstopper collection, which is all our corner edibles. Um, we've got some fantastic samples for you, but we've had some amazing demos already in the earlier show and in this show. And we're not finished yet, are we, Sarah? We've still got more demos to show you with different, different, different corner edibles that you're going to be using. I am indeed. Now, one of the demos that I did in the last show that was really popular that I'm going to do now is showing, well, I'm going to show you it, but with a different design, is how to do the easel cards. So this is a lovely easel card, but we've put the design on the corner of the easel. So I just think if you really want something a little bit different to do, easel cards are the way to do it. We like this girl. She's like Bridgerton-esque, isn't she? Yep. Very Bridgerton-esque. So, uh, right, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to start from scratch for the card. Okay. I'm going to start with a sheet of A4. And I'm going to cut this down to six inches wide. Uh, no, I'm going to take it sideways. No, I'm not. I'm going to take it six inches wide. Yep, yep. Sorry, I sometimes need to just engage my brain a little bit, right? <laughs> six inches wide. And then what we're going to do is we're going to score it in half. So that would be one little notch before the six and then one little notch before the three, right? So that gives me a fold in half here and then a fold in half on the easel there as well, right? Like so that is giving you the base of the easel. I was going to say, I like the fact that you use the scoring part on your your, your yeah. guillotine. So we were talking about this yesterday, and Debbie was saying, it's almost habit that we get the scoreboard out, but you don't need to, no, do you? No, you do it all in there. And then watch, I'm going to use that card that I did to the wrong size earlier. So that is six by, well, it's five and three quarters, isn't it? So is that going to be the right size for there? Yes, there it is. Right, so there's my easel card ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yep, so it's just how you knock up a quick and easy easel card. Now, when it comes to your lady, your lady is going to go onto this part here. All right, so that is going to go onto there. It's going to fo uh, yeah, fold up like this. And that is going to give me my square card and then come up. Actually, I wonder if we could probably... Uh, let, let's cut there. Let's say, uh, and then see if we want to make the card. We can always make it a little bit smaller if it's too big as well. Okay. So, let's find my lovely lady die. Um, she's not called the lovely lady, is she not? What's she called? Off to the ball. Off to the ball. Off to the ball. So, here she is. Now, the good thing with this one is, the cutting thing just comes down the left-hand side. So, it's going to just pop on there. And then, now it's the right-hand side. And can you see, this is all going to stay... There she is. I'm going to line that up with the bottom of the card. Stays connected on the top. All right. So again, you're just going to take your tape, hold it in place with the bit that is going to get cut off. Mm -hmm. And then you can take this and we're just going to layer all of this up and do our cutting as we go through the machine. So one pass through. I mean, this is probably, even though it looks complex, this is one of the quickest and easiest cards you could make. It is that simple to do. It really is, right? This is the one that I've just done a little tutorial for on my um, Facebook and Instagram page as well if you, if you want to go and save it, right? So there she is. There's the design. And then watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to colour her in, which means you're up, Becky. Uh, <laughs> you know, you all know the drill by now. Yep. Uh, let's have a little look. I think I might do her. Um, I did like that dusky pink. I was going to do it, uh, I did it in a slightly different, I did it in the APs before, this isn't, oh yeah, I'm going to do it in the APs, uh, the antique pinks, right? So watch what you're going to do when you're going to do this, you're going to start, these are the antique pinks, so I've got two, three and four. So you're going to start with the darkest one, down the left hand side, so you're going to take this all the way down here, and we're going to put all of the colour down the left hand side. Now if you notice, what I'm doing is, I'm just coming slightly off the design, not an awfully long way, but just slightly off to give that little bit of a hint of colour. And I'm going around the outside first of all, all right? So right around the outside like that. Then I'm going to colour in about uh, just over a third of the card. So I'm okay. going to bring the design up by a third and then we can start and blend the second shade. Okay. And that is about all the talking you can get out of us. <laughs> right. I'm not, okay. I'm not consistent. <laughs> um, let's have a look here with what people have been having. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, Jessica says, my favourite present was going to Chicago with my sister and younger niece. We had an amazing dinner at an Italian bar and restaurant. The next day, my niece wanted to do a boat tour. I said, let's do it. And it was a great trip. My niece wants to go again. Um, 
Anne says, my favourite present was the Ultimate Pro for my parents and grandparents. Yay! Um, she said, it was not long after my grandma, grandma passed, and I always think of my grandma when I use it. My mum asked me to get her an Ultimate Pro. Um, she said, I've been watching Sarah, and I think I need one of those things with the grooves in it. You um, do? Yes, you do. Um, and I, I keep saying, Mum, if you're watching, I will come over. I will show you how to use everything. Um, it's just finding the time. Um, when do you oh, say... Oh, your mum's saying that. My mum's saying that, yeah. Oh, bless her. Um, she, well, she, normally, she messages me during a show and says, can you buy me that? And I've not heard anything from her, so I don't know whether she's watching today. <coughs> um, be very rude if you're not watching, Mum. Um, Wendy says, my best birthday present was when my husband bought for my 50th, which was a flight to Perth, Australia, to see my niece with my sister. That's really nice. I like that. Um, I'm not the only one that's not keen on camping. <laughs> Oh, the looks of things. No, my husband loved camping and he said it was a great thing. But I, I quite like, I, I mean, I don't mind being out in nature, but I, I don't want a mouse on my pillow, which I think is fair enough. Um, and and I, don't want, I don't want to be getting wet um, in the, when it starts to rain. Um, Jeanette says, I love the designs by the design team. It's always a gift. Kathy Kerr says, um, I love watching you make these beautiful cards, Sarah. CC does the best dyes. And then Jeanette says, both the design team and presenters are so special to all of us. Oh, quite special to us too. She says, losing her voice. <laughs> um, uh, Ash says, I want everything. I'm trying really hard not to overspend. Well, you know, there is a good deal. And if you are going to be using these dyes and you're seeing how, many, how versatile they are, how you'll be able to use them in different occasions. And Sarah's showing you all those different ways that you can be using them, whether you are really into your colouring, really into your inking, um, whether you're brand new to crafting and you're just sort of finding your way through the myriad of different things, or whether you've been crafting for a long time and crafting with us, you will know that they're good quality um, items that we have for you and you're going to be able to use these again and again. No, it's never, it's always worth buying something if you're going to be able to use it multiple times. Um, if you, um, you know, if you're only going to be able to use it for one type of thing, it, then there's a bit of a considered purchase. But at this price and with the fact that if you're quick, you'll get the opportunity to get that um, goodie bag as well with free stuff and who doesn't love free stuff why wouldn't you want to take the plunge it's always good um, Mary Pat says she doesn't like camping either it doesn't bring me joy like other experiences you, I, a lot, have you ever been to the festival um, where you know like a, a like a, um, a Glastonbury kind of festival where you're camping sorry have you ever done those no and, and uh, well I'll be honest so you, we say about the camping yeah it's camp of vanning that yeah. I love which is different isn't it so I do feel like yeah I do, I do hear what you're saying about yeah. being in the tent I mean I have done that kind of camping or whatever yeah but um, I do like the tent. I am taking the kids in a few weeks' time. Yeah. Does anybody remember, and this will be UK people only, or you might be able to look it up on the on the internet, US people. We had somebody come in the den, this series called Secret Garden Glamping. Oh, yes, yeah, I saw yeah. that. Yeah. So I'm going to their Secret Garden Glamping spot. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I'm quite excited for that. I'm taking, my sister's coming as well, and we're taking the kids. Oh, so we're going to take the two little ones, uh, the, the two little ones, the three little ones, uh, and her and me. So her and I will share one room and then the kids will get a room because we've got like a two bed glamping, glamping pod. Oh, that'd be lovely. So I'm quite excited about that, yeah. I think it is, um, it's if you're stuck in a, you know, a four man tent and there's six of you and it's pouring with rain, you know, it's never, it's never good. And I always think of that when I'm, when I think about camping. Do you when know, my kids I went, went camping once. Um, so this, I mean, you're talking right back in the day. This is when I was still at university. Yeah. And uh, me and my best friend went over to join some of the lads from that I was um, at university with. Yeah. And my dad, I asked my dad if I could borrow a tent. So he got the tents out on the lawn. I was rushing when I came round. I'll have to stop colouring and tell you the story because it's quite a funny one. <laughs> so um, I was rushing and I popped around my mum and dad's house and I was just like, oh yeah, I, I, I remember that one from when we were kids and I just picked up this little, it looked like a tiny tent and I thought it was the little two-man tent that we used to have. Yeah. Um, got there and put it up. It was one of them windbreakers <laughs> that we use on the beach. <laughs> you know, that you can put a baby in and that's about it. <laughs> So we, we pitched this tent and my friend stood looking at this and she's like, are you, are you having a laugh? And I was like, oh, it's not the one I thought it was. <laughs> and there was one lad in a four-man tent on his own. There was another two lads in a six-man tent. I was like, 
we'll go to the pub, we'll have a few drinks with the lads, and then we'll talk them all into getting in one tent together, <laughs> and we'll get in one of their tents. She was like, yeah, good plan. Came back from the pub, so stubborn we were. I wouldn't ask them. I was waiting for them to offer. Nobody offered. So in the end, me and Sophie ended up getting into this windbreak. You could barely fit. We blew like a, a, a single um, bloat bed and it didn't quite squash into the bottom. And the two of us had to sleep facing outwards, like back to back, facing outwards with our faces pressed up against the side of the tent. <laughs> hey, then were the days, eh? Hey, then were the days. I think when you're a student, you're allowed to have those kind of things, aren't you? You just kind of go, roll, yeah. you roll with it, don't you? Yeah, so, absolutely. Um, Right, watch this. This is the bit that I want you to pay attention for, right? So I'm going to connect this onto here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come along. So I've held that in place and I can see that I'm going to start, I'm going to cut it there. So can you see I'm just cutting it into there? And I'm going to follow the line of the dress. And I'm going to follow the line of the dress up to the cutting point and then cut this part away. That's how you make this into the card. So that, you see, is going to connect down there and you can't see behind her dress. That is how the whole concept works. So I'm just going to come in with here, put plenty of tape on along here and we can stick all of this together beautifully well. Uh, don't you quite stick down yet. There we go. All right. So she's going to go down there nicely. So there's the base of my easel card. And then just to kind of finish off the card, because I'd already done the matting and layering, you see, which is why I worried that I'd made my card a bit small. Yes, I have. Right. So watch this. I'm going to mat and layer you in there like that, which means that whole card just gets trimmed to about there. No, no problemo, she says. Straight up. There we go. Nice. Oh, it's a little bit tight. We'll pop you along a little bit. Um... Yeah, there we go. So a little bit of a matte layer in the bottom. I've got a, let's have a little look. You're gonna pop up there. Looking nice. I've got wishing you a wonderful birthday and may the year ahead bring you every happiness. Nice. And then I'm just gonna come along with this one. And then of course we need to make that stand up. So what I'm gonna do is use those. Where's my 3D foam pads gone? There they are. I'm going to use a couple of nice 3D foam pads on the back here. And then that is going to give me the little prop that you have just down here. So there's my happy birthday and she's going to stand on there. And I think she is beautifully elegant. She Isn't really lovely? is. Love that. Yeah. And if you wanted this, if you wanted it to stand up a little bit more proud up there, all you would do is, please don't have stuck too hard. No, they haven't. We're all good. Uh, we can go up there. And if we want it up there, we can just pop that up there like that, you see. And then she'll stand. People don't seem to realise that about easel cards. You pop your easel wherever you want it. So if I just stick you down there, and I'll stick you down here like this. Nice fold. There it is. Lovely. That is lovely. Really pretty. Yeah. Like that a lot. There you go. Brilliant. Ooh. Love that. Um, look, uh, still lots of people talking about camping. They like to go camping in a camper van, I think is general consensus. Karen says, I camped around Australia some years ago and I will never do it again. Yeah, I'm a bit concerned about the creepy crawlies in Australia, I have to be honest. I don't want to wake up in the night and see one of those big huntsman spiders in the corner of my tent. That might give me the heebie-jeebies. All right, we're going to give you the opportunity to check out your baskets, remember. Not many of these left. If you want to go for the showstopper, you will get your goodie bag if you're quick. Um, but we don't have that many left. We will let you know exactly how many are left after um, this little break. Give you the opportunity to check out your baskets. We will see you in a couple of moments. It differs slightly depending how lively I'm feeling first thing in the morning. Sometimes I head to the gym. More often than not, I don't head to the gym and I go on the school run. After the school run, I'm normally in here getting by about 10 o'clock, chatting with the producer, whoever that might be on the day. So I've started going home a little bit more now, actually, between shows. I only live five minutes up the road, so it's nice to take a bit of a break. Um, go and make a nice cheese sarni. Yeah. <laughs> cheese sarni. I love a cheese sandwich. Going home. I can't say the end of the day. You might want to keep this in. I can't say the end of the day, can I? The best part of the day is 
starting off and finding out what kind of a day it's going to be. Oh, probably night owl now. Never shower. <laughs> He's so dirty. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a really good question again. I'm a bath man. I love a bath. Coffee in the morning, tea in the evening. No breakfast. I don't really have breakfast. I tend to sort of eat my first meal around lunchtime. Craft along. My waistcoats, my range of waistcoats, because you've always got to have plenty of waistcoats ready for the day. Is help the guys pack up. I know you're looking at me saying you don't do that. I do. I'm one of those presenters that comes in, you know, doesn't help the backstage crew. I'm always helping out. You just ask anybody else. Day to day looks like on a normal day when I'm working from home, um, get up, breakfast, um, quick phone call with my daughter, and then I'm up in the craft room and I spend all my time in the craft room. If it's spending a day with the grandkids, it's that's it. That's my best part of the day, just spending with family and those gorgeous little grandkids of mine. The best part of the day when I'm at work is when I go on air because I absolutely love it. Both. I prefer a shower in the morning. I feel fresher. I feel that I can tackle my day. However, depending on how that day's been, I also would have a double shower, so I'd have one in the morning and one at night too. Absolutely, 100% coffee. Will always be coffee. And flavoured coffee is my favourite at the moment. Dare I say it, a full English breakfast, the full works, the beans, the tomatoes, the bacon, the sausage, and everything else that goes with a traditional English breakfast. Craft every day of the week. Um, I absolutely love going through the stages from the start of a project to the end of a project. So Craft Along is definitely my favorite choice. <laughs> I can't leave without my lipstick. <laughs> It's a, it's a given thing. I once didn't have a lipstick on me and Leanne helped me out that day. Kick off the shoes, sit down for a couple of minutes, just gather my thoughts and then grab my tea. Hello everybody, welcome back. I do hope you took advantage of that break um, to check out your baskets because um, we sold out of the showstopper with the original goodie bag and we have got a few back. Um, actually, we haven't got that many left. Um, just looking at them, now we have 50 left. So if you want to go for the showstopper, which you can just see here, which is a set of nine dies, these are the corner edgeable dies, which you've seen Sarah showing you how to use, but you want to get something for free, please do check out those 50 left. You will get a goodie bag. I'm not going to show you what's in it, but you're going to get the equivalent of £25 or $30 worth of stuff for nothing. And let's be honest, you know, it's really nice to have something for nothing wherever you can. So do take advantage of that. The price for the showstopper, £64 or $79.20, is the same whether you get it, you're the 51st person to pop it into their basket from now on, um, but you won't get, that last person will not get that free goodie bag. That's just what I'm saying. Um, loads of people loving what you've been making, Sarah. Um, Beverly says, so glad to see Sarah on CTV. Missing her and hopefully we'll see more of you in May. Um, oh, you will, I promise. So everybody who's asking, I did explain in the last show, but I haven't been around as much in, well, February I went to the Arctic. Uh, Comic Relief sent me to mm -hmm. the Arctic and then uh, we started filming a new show for the BBC so all of March and the last couple of weeks um, first bit of April I've been filming this new show but we finished that on Wednesday this week so I'm all done which means I'm back now I am flying to HSN tomorrow so you won't see me next week uh, also I'm, I'm coming back and I'm backing on Wednesday 
and then I'm doing an Ultimate Pro Masterclass on Wednesday, actually, which I'm very excited about, I have to say. And then um, and then from the week after, I'm back in and you're starting to see more of me. Yeah, so, we, so I should get my mum to watch Wednesday, definitely, because if I Oh, can, yes, for yeah. Ultimate Pro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and actually, that. if there's any requests you've got for Ultimate Pro stuff, let me know now. Uh, I mean, I haven't really got much time to prep it because I literally land on Wednesday morning and I'm straight into the studios from the airport. So, um, yes, be all stations go. But, yeah, let us know now because I can, I can do anything on the Ultimate Pro. I don't need to prep it. I can just, I can just go over it. I'll get my mum to ask what, you, what she wants and I'll come back to you, Sarah. Um, loads of people loving what you're doing, um, saying it was a gorgeous card, stunning, beautiful. Um, Connie says, um, this is oh, absolutely marvellous, Sarah. Um, this lady is my favourite, but I do love them all. They are all very beautiful um, collection that you've got here. Jeanette says, very elegant. The pinks look totally different from the blue. This is why I watch as often as I can. Um, Sarah is so talented. We love watching her. She is an inspiration. That's from Beverly. Oh, um, thank you, guys. Thank I think you. this is what it's been all about. It's about giving inspiration with this fantastic collection of dyes. And you've still got more to show us, haven't you, Sarah? I have. I did promise the next thing we would look at would be a box so this is the box that i took my inspiration from i have to say i love these papers that are used on this one um i, can, I can't remember i'm looking at that design and i'm recognizing i just can't quite think of it and i think this is really pretty what uh, marie's done on the front here that made this one so i'm going to show you how to do this where you would do a box and you'd have a little bit of your peony i mean i've used the rose for the one that i've done but you've got a little bit of the design and then you can see through you pop some acetate into the front as well there so, yeah, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. And for that, you're going to need either your Ultimate Pro or your Box Maker or something like that. And I'm going to get mine out. Here we go. And let me just double check how, how big I made mine. I used an uh, inch and a quarter. Right, so let's have a little look. If you want to do exactly this size, two sheets of card cut to, so they're A4 width, just over eight inches, by cut to nine and a quarter. So eight by nine and a quarter, and you start with two pieces exactly the same size. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go at one and a quarter inches on all four sides, okay. right? So you do, this is my lid. I go four sides at one and a quarter inches. And this is my just my Centura Pearl Snow White. And then once you've got your lid done, all four sides at one and a quarter, which is one and two little knobbly bits, right? Then you're going to come to your base and you're going to do your base where it says box base also at one and two little knobbly bits there we go one and a quarter because one little knobbly bit would be one and an eighth whereas okay. this is one and two eighths there we go so uh, one two three four all right now you're going to you don't need to do anything with the base so we can just put that to one side but your lid it's what we're going to cut it into. So base goes away, lid, ready to do the design on. Now, very similar to when I did the shaker card here. Because what you're going to do is you're going to take your design, we're going to pop it on, and I'm just going to eyeball getting that roughly into the centre. There we go. Yeah, roughly into the centre. You can always cut a little bit more away at the next stage. And remember what I've always told you, don't stick down here. Put your tape on the bit that's going to connect away. That's the whole trick behind how all of this works. Now, what you'll find is you can either strategically position that on your Gemini plate. So I can make sure that's in the middle there. Or you can just get on your Gemini Junior plate. Yep. Or you can just go and get your bigger Gemini plates okay. out. I'm just being, I'm not being lazy. I'm just being, um, what's the word? Impatient. <laughs> I've got no patience. Who wants to spend 18 seconds when you can spend nine? In fact, it's not even nine because it's the Gemini 2, so it's about seven seconds. Right, so that's going to go through there. You can see that design's cut out absolutely beautifully. You're just going to lift that off ever so gently. And then any last little bits, I'm just going to give them a little bit of a pop through. Now, this is when I did mean in the break to go and get a um, metal edged ruler. Oh, you wouldn't just get us one, Becky, would yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Just be on the little yep. side out there. Um, yeah, metal edge ruler, and then you can get a perfect cut. But you see all these, I'm, I'm just being, because there's so, such detailed dyes, I'm just taking my time, because I'm wanting all of these little bits popped out absolutely perfectly. And it does give a really nice finish. This is the ones you want to be careful with. 
ones like that that are just like all these little swirly bits. So we lift all those nice little swirly bits out there. All right. So these are all going to come out. Now, if I did emboss them, they would have come out even easier. But I didn't take the time to go and re-emboss them another time. So it just, it's just a couple of seconds. And you can use your brush if you want, uh, or you just your regular pokey tool. Oh, do you not have one? I can't find one. I can guess where one is. Do you want me to run and get it? <laughs> well, tell me where it is and I'll find it. I bet so I was going to find it immediately and I'm going to be... Oh. Because I've had a marvellous idea. No, don't you worry, Do you want Nicola. to use a fabric I've plate? I've a brilliant idea. If you haven't got a metal edge ruler, just need a metal edge. Right? So it's not quite the same, but... <laughs> I didn't know you could do that with him. Uh, right. Now, the only thing is, the, re the beauty of a metal edge ruler is you can sit... Oh, I'm just going to eyeball it. Watch this, right? So I'm coming out here. And I'm just going to eyeball, I'm going to cut all of this away. There we go. I mean, I'm not far off, am I not? No, he's ex ex perfect. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that I'm perfect, but I'm not far off. Do you know what they used to call us? They being Leanne. Uh, Sarah Scissorhands. Really? She always called me Sarah Scissorhands because I was quite, quite um, good with the old cutting. Right, watch this, I'm going to use, oh, I quite like that side as well as this one. Yeah, right, I'm going to just do a little bit of inking around there. Okay. Should we go with that nice pink one again? Because it's quite pretty, that, isn't it? I like yeah, that I pink. I put it away. Where did I put it away? Uh, put it away somewhere really safe with all the other stuff I've really diligently put away and not just left dumped all over the table. Uh, ha ha, yeah. Um, yeah, so, oh, look, we'll go purple. Purple's a nice colour, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that. purple's a lovely colour. Who needs pink? Who needs pink? There it is. <laughs> it's always there. Nicola, Nicola's gone. It was there. I'm like, it's always there. It's always me. I am always the problem with these things. You shouldn't I tidy do. up. That's a problem. You should just leave it as a mess and you'll be able to find it. It's when well, you tidy this, up. Because well, this was the problem. It was right in front of us because <laughs> I, I hadn't tidied it up. And, I, and for some reason, I was uh, I was looking to see if I'd tidied it away. I should have known I would never tidy it away. But that, didn't that make such a difference? do love that right dotty tape pen and watch this you're going to be ever so careful because they are very very finely so i'm not just going like this if you notice what i'm doing i'm supporting with my finger and just bringing a little bit over there once we get into these bits in the middle you can go a little bit more gung-ho but um this here there we go just like that so lots of people are messaging in about the type of thing they want from um, the Ultimate Pro Show. So oh, we're gonna, excellent. And Susie's going to collate them and email them to you. Oh, um, so Susie. Got some ideas. Love you, me dear. That's perfect. Uh, yes, I can, uh, I can prep through all of that when I'm on the plane in the morning. Obviously not physically make the prep, just think about what I'm going to do. So I've got the Ultimate Pro on HSN this week as well. So I'm quite excited for that. Mm. Should be nice. Right, here we go. So there's my cut in detail bit like that. Yep. Now, have I got my, here we go. Let's just get, um, let's get all these put together. So that's gonna come down on the bottom there. I have also cut out, where have I put you? Oh, excuse me. Uh, here we go. You are going to go on there. Yeah, that kind of works, doesn't it? I haven't put that in too bad of a spot. Do you know what I'm gonna do? A little bit of a tip here. I'm going to use the all purpose in case I don't get this quite in the right place. So I'm going to just put that all purpose down here. I'm going to pop this into place like this, maneuver it into place. Now I know I want this to go around the edge like that to smooth out that edge. And then I'm just going to make sure that is down in place. I'm going to use that foam on a roll that I've also put somewhere really safe. Um, like here, like here, yep. He's got me back Sam today. He doesn't keep cutting to us on the wide, bless him. <laughs> so uh, if it was, you'd see me just looking like a deer in the headlights right now. <laughs> so, um, and look how malleable this one is. It's great stuff, this. There we go, round that corner. I'm going to just do that nice little raised up bit. 
So, what sort of things have people been asking then Ultimate Pro wise or is she um, literally just they have with been, us? <coughs> excuse me, they've been asking, um, one of the questions was about that gatefold card that you made earlier about how to make an envelope. You can do that on the Ultimate Pro, can you? I can, I can do exactly the right size envelope for exactly that on the Ultimate Pro. How big, and then this is my question, how big an envelope can you make? Uh, as, as big as you like really, I suppose. So on the Ultimate Pro, together. they go up to like uh, an eight by eight. Right, okay. It's the, it's the biggest one you can make. Uh, it's the same if you go for the Envelo Box Creator. Mm -hmm. What we did do once is we did the Envelo Plus. All right. Now I don't know that we still make them. Um, they might be the odd couple on the website, but the Envelo Plus does envelopes right up to A4 size. That's wow. when we went. That's when there was a craze a few years ago for like really big cards. Mm -hmm. And so we made the really big enveloper. Everybody laughed at me and said, nobody wants to make cards that big yet. We sold thousands and thousands and thousands of envelope pluses. <laughs> so I was like, well, what do you know? So, um, yeah, but then nobody buys them anymore because clearly big cards aren't quite the, quite the rage. Well, so and expensive to send, you know, with postage. Is that's, no, yeah, that's that is part, a big part of the problem. So, um, so yes, so we stopped, we stopped making them. But we just made them all in our factory here in the northeast of England. Oh. But we do have to make like a couple of thousand for them yeah. to justify putting the machine in. So when we're selling like one and two a month, you can, you yeah. can understand when we're not really. You can understand that. Yeah, um, yeah mostly it's about um, large envelopes. Um, uh, Beverly says, can you make an envelope eight and a quarter by four as many of the cards are... Um, that size in the layout collections yes you absolutely can you can do that and to do a card that size what you want it what an envelope you want the envelope box creator and you will be able to look up an eight by four and it's actually just over eight so eight and a quarter you can always just make your card a little bit bigger and it'll let you go to the next size up um, and one of the other questions was um, from Beverly, and she asks, are these dies so intricate that you should put your metal shim in? No, I haven't used my metal shim on any of these at all. Not a single one. So, um, where's that's, the bottom of my card? That's good to know, isn't it? That, uh, well, I suppose that is the, the thing about having these intricate cards. Sometimes you don't know whether you need to put in an extra shim. Would you always say that you should err on the side of caution and put less in, first of all, rather than That's too much? That's exactly it, yeah. Err on the side of caution, don't put the metal shim in. Okay. Only add the metal shim in as an absolute last resort. And the reason I say that is, one, you'll, you'll um, use your metal shim when you don't need to. So it's just going to kind of damage your metal shim. But it makes you go through plates faster. Because what happens is all of the extra pressure in your machine has to be absorbed somewhere. Yeah. And it gets absorbed by the weakest plate, right. which are quite often your outer plastic plates. Okay. So what happens is if you find your plates are warping faster than ours warp, because you're using too much pressure through your machine. Right. So I always say, don't use the, pre don't use the extra pressure. Don't put the extra plates in when you don't need them. Um, and it means that all of your plates will just last longer. Yeah. So it's uh, definitely worth avoiding if you can get That's away with it. That's good to know. Um, and for um, everyone who wants, might want to know, the HSM booklet links have been updated. So they've lo loaded the Modern Man and the Garden collections, as well as Creator Card dies on oh. HSM. So just a little bit of preview if you are going to be watching. We had HSM people going update. bananas the other day because we had some goodie bags on HSN and then people were ordering them all before we got to the show. Oh. I had a text off Adam Freeman about it. He's like, uh, do you think there's going to be any of them goodie bags left for the shows? I was like, uh oh, he's <laughs> um, seen the problem. But I like to give everybody the heads up because I know quite often, you know, you don't want to wait and, and wait to the show and see if there's any left. So I did make a point of showing everybody what was in them mm -hmm. so that people who were wanting to get them ahead of time. Like I, I always prioritise our you know, top viewers, the, the ones that have supported us for years who watch yeah. all of our preview shows. So I try and give you the heads up on everything so that if you are wanting to get ahead of the, the, the rabble, as it was, where it's going to be really, really busy on Monday night, now you can do that. Just so you know, everybody, as well, the show is... I know normally we're on a Tuesday... We're on a Monday this time. It's just with it being Customer Appreciation Month. Okay. So we're launching through the night Monday. I don't know what the Today's Special is. I think it might be Anna Griffin. So I oh, think okay. Anna Griffin is on with the Today's Special at midnight. And then um, I'm coming up and doing the full hour at 1am with Suzanne. Would it, would it be normal time for you? With the time difference? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll be, I'll be there live at 1am. Yeah. Whereas usually when I'm over here... 
the 1 a.m. show in America is 4 a.m. for wow. <laughs> Nicholas straight there in my intro. <laughs> it's 4 a.m. Do you think? And I know I'm usually either been there, done that, got several of the t-shirts. <laughs> so um, yes, so 4 4 a.m. So it won't be quite so bad doing it at 1 a.m. and then I'll be able to go back to the hotel for a couple of hours sleep and then back in for 10 o'clock the next morning. Can I ask you a question, Sarah? Yeah. How do you how do you get any downtime? Because you're always so busy. Uh, downtime? What's downtime? <laughs> What's downtime? I have no idea what downtime is. I just, I'm just not a downtime person, really. However, my husband is going to take me away, seeing as it is, I know I've mentioned it several times now, yeah. but it is a big birthday, so I'm totally very excited about it. Um, it's my 40th uh, a week on Tuesday, 23rd of April. So we get back from America on Wednesday. I'm straight into here Wednesday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And then on Thursday, he's taking me for a lovely weekend away. Oh, nice. So the poor grandparents have got the kids all this weekend while we're away and then all of next weekend as well when we go away. I bet so they love it. They are. They're very excited. They're away with my sister today. My sister and my brother-in-law have taken my two kids and our little Gracie off to Gulliver's, Gulliver's something or other, some big theme park down in Setchfield. No, yeah. Sheffield. Setchfield's just around the corner. That wouldn't be very good. Um, some big theme parks. So I've been having the updates all day. I dropped, uh, I popped in this morning at half past seven just on my way to work just to check on them. And I pulled up outside the house and I could sit here out on the street, a full-blown <laughs> disco going on. So our Gracie's in there. So I came in and she's got a, a dad built her a little stage. They've turned the, um, the whatchamacallit, the... Not the uh, dressing room, what's it called? Dining room. They've turned the dining room into like a playroom. So he's <laughs> built her a stage. She's got a karaoke machine for Christmas. So she's then, they're all on the stage, like singing away and dancing. She's doing dance classes. So she was doing the pass, she was teaching us how to do the Paso Doble, because of course I never did it on Strictly. I got evicted the week before I was on doing Paso Doble. So she was uh, singing to her heart's content, then teaching me the Paso Doble. I was like, at eight o'clock, I said, like, I've got to go to work, sweetheart. <laughs> but um, yeah, they were full of it. So Aww. I'll be giving them a ring when we come off tonight and seeing it's all gone for the oh, day. Oh, lovely. Sounds uh, great. Anyway, sorry, I finished my beautiful box. That is a beautiful box. Really effective using that dye. Really lovely. Isn't it lovely. Mm. And it was nice to see it right through from beginning to end, wasn't it? How it all goes. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic. Love that. Good. I, I, I think we're lucky we don't do um, votes because how would you choose between all of these? Um, now, Crafty. Uh, we can still vote. I could bring you all my cards and we could have a vote. Should we do could it? We? Could we? Yeah, I mean, could there's, we do that? There's, no, there's, there's, there's nothing to win. I mean, I could give myself a star anyway. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's have a vote and I'll give myself a star. Right, you get ready. I'm going to bring you all my cards over that I've made. OK, because there's been quite a lot, actually, haven't there? A little of the cards that we've done today. Um, more questions about the Ultimate Pro. They tend to be about envelope boxes and um, uh, envelopes. So Susie's going to collate all of those and send them to Sarah. So Sarah can be busily working away while she's on the plane when I'd normally be snoozing and eating peanuts. Um, Crafting Queen says these dyes would make uh, would be amazing embossed. Can you imagine how they'd look with all the amazing ink pads swiped over the raised parts or the gilding wax? If you watched the earlier show, Sarah was showing us um, how they can be embossed as well. Um, making these a really useful collection of different dyes because there's so many things you can do with them. Look at this, loads of cards. Look at all those lovely cards I've made. I'm going to get ready this. for another one as well. You can right. vote, but then I'll still do another one while you vote. Okay, I'm going to put them all out so you can see them. There's a huge array of different cards that we've got here. Um, all sorts of different ones. And we've tried when you've been asking us um, what you want to, or telling us what you want to see, um, we have um, tried to um, do as many demos as we possibly can. I mean, so you know, I said before you were going to do speedy crafting. You went, no, but you have. My goodness, look at all these things. I can't even fit them all out. We're going to have to have an extra, li li extra wide camera um, for all of these. Going to do a slow pat. I'm not finished yet. I've still got more. <laughs> look, the, te the desk isn't big enough. <laughs> That's what I can say. Right, last one. I'm going to put it right at the very end here. So I'm really sorry, Sam. There's so many here for you to choose. I'm so sorry, Sam, but I'm <laughs> so good at crafting. I've done loads of gorgeous cards. Right, number one. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven. Ah, oh, it's got in there twice. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, let's move that out of the way. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Wow. Eight to choose from. I think I've done more than that, but I... Oh, oh, yeah, oh there's, well, an there's another one. <laughs> and Sarah's still got one more to do. I'm still going. I am really quite impressed with these. Um, let's just have a look. Um, yeah, Crofting Queen says embossing your dies is like gaining two items the price of one because you get different effects. This is what I love about this because you can use them in so many different ways. You can see by the absolute smorgasbord of samples that we've got here that Sarah's been demonstrating how many different ways you could be using these, using different techniques, using different... Got one I more. Knew it. I was thinking I've made one with every design except the book here, which is what I'm doing last. But then you've got the heart one over there still. Yes, and this one there. That was the heart that I took inspiration oh, yeah, from. That's right. Yeah. We've got one more. So yeah. one, two, and so three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got one design that I haven't used yet, which I'm going to use next. And I used the lady Nothing. twice. One, the lady. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine altogether. Nine. I'm about to do the tenth one as well. Get your votes in. There's no prize to be won, apart from the accolade of being the winner of the day. Well, yeah, if I win, I, I'll, I'll get a star because there's nobody to compete against the rest of the week. So, <laughs> so shall I just give myself the star now? I don't know if there's any stars. I'll have to take one off someone else. Well, yeah, I'll just give myself a star. I'd like one as well. Can I have one? Yeah, I'll just give us okay. both the one if Excellent. you want. Right. Yeah. I'll just, just going to find all the stars and stick them on so we know yeah, like we've we'll won. Yeah, we'll do that, we'll do that. Excuse me, I'm going to have to cough again. <coughs> do apologise. This is with all of the showstoppers that we've got here. I'm losing my voice. Oh, God, love you. Yeah. <coughs> and we had some goodie bags. Um, we sold out of those first, first of all. We've got a few more left. We only have... 43 remaining so the next 43 people that put the showstopper in here you will get this free bonus uh, by um, 25 pounds or 30 dollars equivalent and you're getting that for absolutely nothing so if you're thinking about buying it buy it soon check out because it's not yours until you actually check out we'll still have these available for the same price but you won't have any free goodies and everyone loves a free goodie um, sorry, we've got one more demo. Can you, can you ready to do that one? I am ready to rock and roll. I have not done the Flora Bouquet. Ooh. So this is said Flora Bouquet. Uh, this one's a really nice one for paper piecing. Now, I haven't got time to do loads of paper piecing, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you a paper piecing trick. Ooh. Paper piecing hack where you can, uh, you can do it by accident. Not by accident, you can um, do the illusion of doing a paper piece. Right, so I'll put that over there. Now, this is, I like this technique. This is where you do, we did one of these in the first half with the daisies, and it's where you take your card and you have it as a tent fold. So you, normally you have it down this way, and you would take your die off the top corner, but you can also do it as a tent fold and take your die off the right hand side. So all I'm doing, you can see, there's your start of your cutting line. Here's the end of my cutting line. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm gonna put a nice big piece of tape down and I'm going to pop this in place just down there. And because it's anchored at two points, that'll, that'll anchor it nicely. So we're going into our base cutting plate like this. Clear magnetic top plate on the top there and straight through. Do you know what would be really good for me, actually, is while you're on Borton for your favourite demo, yep. will you tell me which one you think is the best type of card to show people for them to be able to, uh, to show them on HSN, because obviously I'm going to be demonstrating this on HSN on okay. Monday. So let's have a little look. There's the de detail. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show everyone the embossing for anyone who missed it earlier. So all you do is you leave that facing up. I'm going to take my embossing mat now, lay that over the top, put your clear, leave the magnetic out, put your top plate on, and you can send them back through again and that then gives you a lovely detailed embossed design. So that's, all, all I'd say is that all of these have been hand illustrated specifically to do this technique with. Okay. So you've got those lovely big nice open spaces. All right, so here we go. Lovely big nice open spaces. Take this on, lifting this off. So there we go, and I can just rip that away. And then all you need to do as an extra, this is the extra bit that we do here, is you're gonna cut along here to that line but you're going to cut your score line off so you just cut slightly to the right of the score line 
so that you cut the score line away in its entirety cut this down like this and then there is your little piece left and you can see there if you want to just do a little pop out all these little bits are just going to pop out beautifully uh, and that's going to give you that lovely detail right okay. now with this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to show everybody so if we want to do a bit of a four paper piece in effect i'm going to get this red and i'm going to stick it behind all right so i'm going to pop it behind there and then i'm going to show you how we do the kind of effect and i'm going to do a little bit of coloring on here as well so i'm going to kind of elaborate this onto the next level okay. all right so if i just give a little bit of dotty coming all the way around here so that we've got that nicely um stickied up as it was plenty of sticky on there and then i'm even going to go as far as putting a little bit of this tape up the side here and then once you get that onto there right that is when we're going to come round with your tape now let's have a little look i don't need any in the leaves here so i can just cut away all the bits that i don't need so uh, and you there's no it's, there's no like kind of special way to do this you're just eyeballing it okay so i'm just coming right round there coming round this leaf we don't need this leaf yep around the flower and then i'm just going to cut around the outside of the flower as well so that looks really effective doesn't it just yeah. it's really pretty so i'm just going to cut this and it doesn't matter if you're not exact because i'm cutting just above so can you see i'm going to cut these leaves off so i'm going to go just behind there now so i cut the red away behind the leaves so it's just given that effect of four paper piecing there we go really useful if you like paper piecing so we have those paper piecing um sheets don't we yes we really do useful hold and um, release sheets they're good yeah. then all right there we go and there's no it's not like scientific this we just literally you can see there where i don't want it and then i just cut that away and that is giving me so this is though i've got that lovely design now i'm just realizing i don't need this bit in so i can come again here just cut up there and then really just like that in. effect there we go see and i take that bit out as well oh and there we go right uh missed this tiny little bit right right there we go there's my feeling with that now if you wanted to go look at this next level what we can do is I could bring in a dark red pen, so a dark red blend here, right? Yeah. And what I can do is I can start and colour some of this detail in, right? So I'm, I'm, and don't worry, I'm going to go over the edge, but you'll see in a second all will be revealed. And um, I'm going into my little colouring coma here, so you're up, Bex. I am putting back the cards that I've taken away. Um, while I'm doing this, I do uh, I do find I think I'm not the only one that loves watching people colour. I just find it so therapeutic, and it's a little bit like um, when I can't sleep, I get my colouring out, and I quite enjoy that. Just sort of sitting in bed doing a bit of colouring, um, and I think it's just you know, nice and relaxing, isn't it, to do something like that? Um, oh, get my voice back. Um, Dawn says, I love watching Sarah. You're such an amusing spirit. Thank you for your company and sharing all this fun. Um, Cindy says, I love that you demoed all the dyes. It's really helpful to see a product uh, done throughout its entirety. Because obviously we're selling you, um, we're showing you the showstopper. And that is obviously the most economical way of you purchasing. But it's really nice to be able to see them all being um, shown how to be used. Um, lots of people liking the fact that they get to vote today, actually. Oh, um, which is thank nice. you. I'm liking it as well, guys. It's good, isn't it? So he says, voting makes me feel part of the show and gives CC uh, an idea of what we really like. Um, Connie says, Sarah, you're such a workhorse. You are amazing. Um, I don't oh, know why thank you... Thank you, guys. I don't know how you manage to do the things that you do. Uh, Hannah Law says, I need a hot tea with honey. That's pretty much what I'm going to be having when I get back to the house. Hold on one moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 
And Marley says the easel and stepper cards are absolute showstoppers. Um, and Betty says she loves the, um, the stepper card as well. And they're suggesting these ones for HSNs, so the stepper card, the easel card. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much what that's coming up for. Um, stepper and watched, easel. Yeah, stepper and easel. Um, Cindy says, I, I enjoy paper piecing. To me, it's therapeutic. It is like doing a big puzzle, isn't it? And Stephanie says that is a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Ah, thank you. She is looking lovely. Uh, right, so can you see? I've, I have to admit, the tri blend brush with the red is just beautiful. Yeah. And it's colouring on here fantastically well because you've got that red as a base. Super easy to do. It's just at this point here, it's looking quite messy. So you do you do need to do this extra trick that I'm just about to show you. Okay. Okay. Now, if you want to be really pedantic, which I think I might be, right? Because I'm I'm all about the pedanticness today, right? I'm going to go in there. And I'm going to cut out that extra little piece there. All right, so I'm just going to cut it out because it's really bothering me that that is obviously not meant to be there. Because um, we've just cheated the paper piecing. So I can pop you out there and out you come. And I'm feeling much happier about that now. Yep. Yes, right. So we need to cover these over. So do you know what I'm going to do? S somebody asked in the last show, in fact, I remember it was you, uh, about cutting <laughs> into glitter card. Yeah. So I'm going to cut into that glitter card and we're going to go over another layer with the glitter card. So I'm going to just pop that down there. Uh, I'm going to go over top with this like this. Do you always round. cut the card with your die, with the die going into the glitter or the other way around? I have the die going into the glitter. Okay. Yes. So that's, that's how you always get the best. You always cut into the top of the card. Yep. So that's how you're going to get the best result there. There we go. So straight onto there, and we're going to cut you through. Now, glitter card, you might want to add the metal shim. I'm going to have a little look. I might need to just poke a few bits out. Yeah, I remember, seem to remember last time. So I think I might just go back through and add the metal shim there. All right, so if I have a little look on here. Oh, it's actually cut, cut reasonably well. Uh, I'll give it another go through anyway. I'll just make it. Give it that nice little, um, just means they'll pop out a little bit easier. Yeah. And you'll hear the machine. Even though it's quiet at the Gemini 2, you'll hear it just working that little bit harder. So we can give that a nice go through, which means now when I lift that out, they literally should just, and I'm giving it a nice good whack there. As you can tell, straight off. Yes, that's oh, looking wow. lovely. All right. Now look what I've decided to do, you see. I'm going to take these last couple of little bits out and then I'm wanting to go over top of my design with a second layer of glittered flowers because I think it'll just make them look truly spectacular. So I can take these. Now you can either connect that into the rest of your card, you see. Oh, wow. That looks so yeah. effective. Or you can just give it a nice... Um, I can just go around like this. And just give it a nice kind of uh, edge. There we go. And I'm just just roughly going near the edge, but not perfect. Um, and you move the card rather than your scissors, is that right? I do. I like to. Yes. Different people have different ways, but if you've ever watched any of those like professional um, paper cutters, mm -hmm. what do you call it? Yeah, they, well, it is like professional paper cutting, yeah. isn't it? Um, I do like how they do it. So let's have a little look there. I'm going to go straight over and I'm going to put plenty of tape. And again, oh, just being careful there. This is when I'm not, when I'm not being careful is when you start and make mistakes, you see. So just take your time. You're going all over the edge because the last thing you want to do is knock some of these out of place. Because now when I pop this over top, you see, and we need to get it perfectly over the top. We don't want it slightly offset or whatever. You want it absolutely perfectly straight over the top there. That looks fantastic. It really does. It makes it every, like you said, it makes it really pop, doesn't yeah. it? And they're like, you can see the, the design there. It's yeah. really coming through nice, isn't it? And just by using the red cardstock, it just gave us a nice base colour. Mm -hmm. So there's my base ready to go. Yep. And then all I'm going to do is I've got a nice little bit of matting and layering that I'm just going to pop on the inside and add a little sentiment on. Fantastic. So vibrant. I'm amazed by so many different um, demos that you've done today. They all look fantastic.
Thank you. Do you know, I, I think you can see, but I've really enjoyed me. Yeah. Really enjoyed me afternoon. So, there we go. Right. So there's a nice base. And then I have to say one of my favourite sentiments that we um, that we work with, I've done for this card, the one that says, when I count my blessings, I count you twice. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's a lovely sentiment, that one. So just matting and layering here. I'm going to come straight down the middle with a nice little piece of ribbon. And then stick that over. Hilary anyway, says that Sara gives the best tips if she's so clever, which is Aww. true. There'll be lots of tips today. Thanks, if you're guys. only just jo joining us, where have you been? Um, but don't worry, you have not missed out because you'll be able to watch us back. Um, but you may miss out on the um, goodie bag if you're not quick. So with the showstopper that we've had today with these brand new corner edibles, um, you can put your showstopper in your basket and you can also get a free gift if you are quick gift is worth up to £25 or $30. Um, we haven't got very many of those left, so do take advantage. All I'd say is, if you've been watching us, well, it, I mean, more, I think most people who are watching have already checked out. Yeah, I so think you've, so. Uh, you've, you've had the benefit of that. But if you've come in late or you haven't quite got checked out, I wouldn't be going and making yourself some tea after, you fin after we finish this. <laughs> I would get straight on with it, um, because chances are, if it's not before the end of the show, it's going to be, you know, kind of 10, 15 minutes after the show. And that's when, you know, well, well we're, we're into the weekend now. So, like I said, I asked if it was possible for us to have um, a couple of hundred. And I was told categorically not. They would get everything they could. We've got what they've got. And then, um, yeah, you've, you've, got, you've kind of got to be in. You've got to be in this batch. If you're watching this back on a repeat, guys, chances are we won't have them left. So I want you to, um, you'll just have to use the same item number and you just won't get the free goodie bag. Wow. Isn't that lovely? That looks gorgeous. Love the colours yeah. in that one. Really vibrant. Just shows you, you can just kind of go with any, any colour palette. Gorgeous. Very nice. I mean, it's a good thing you didn't have that one in the vote because it would have been even harder for people to vote because we have so many. We've got 10 all together um, now. So um, we're going to show you all of the different makes um, that Sarah has been making throughout the day. So we'll have the earlier show and the masterclass just now. But lots and lots of different designs that you've got here, different types of cards that Sarah's made throughout. And every single one of these nine different corner edibles has been used in these so you can see loads of different inspiration that you've got there and they really are inspiring we've shown all sorts of different types of cards that you could be making different colorways different ways that you could be using them shaker cards easel cards tenfold cards the whole shebang and they are absolutely beautiful including a box but um which one do you think would be in the winner sarah Did you, would you know which one Ooh, which would be your favorite i think it might be one of the easel cards I think you might be right. Because actually, the winner is this one here. Is it? The yeah, peacock? Yeah, peacock. I mean, I think it just looks so beautiful. And the fact that, you know, you're able to cut through that glitter card like you've shown us using that particular die, it really is absolutely beautiful. So, Sarah, put loads of stars on your chart. Because loads of stars you're on the, the winner. Chart. I'll go and give us one each. Yeah, one, one each. That, I like that idea. Um, lots of people loving what you've just given us here. Um, Laurie says, it's so pretty. Sorry, you're an inspiration to us all. And how, Cindy how, says, how many? Because I have literally found. Oh, the four stars. Yeah. Excellent. So we can have a few if you want. Yeah. I'll, no, I'll, I'll, I'll just give us so. one. I'll just give us one each. Oh. One for me because I made lots of awesome cards and one for you because you were nice and let us have one. <laughs> And I've been battling with my sore throat all day. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed all that we've given you, all of we've shown you today. If you've missed any of the shows, you can always watch them back. And obviously, we've given lots of inspiration throughout all of the day. Do make sure, if you want to get hold of the showstopper or with your goodie bag, and make sure you check out as soon as possible. And remember, we've also got that bonus bag in the deals. Um, so if you put your showstopper in there, and you can also get your bonus bag for half price. Also remember the spring sale, excuse me, losing my voice again. Spring sale um, is going to be on for another couple of days. So make sure you check out on that. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Sarah. It's been a fantastic day. It's I really been enjoyed a today. lovely day. Yeah. And we'll see you next Wednesday. Yeah. Take care. Bye-bye.